okay, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Uh, my camera randomly did like a, a random update, of updating like the, it recorded the, it canceled the recording, so I thought I had to start over, but um, I was left off uh, talking about this, the, the fact that people think that that Tomb Raider exclusive thing was just like a crazy move for desperation, but um, that was it, and maybe it is a desperation move. Uh, so this is going to be a two-parter officially, so um, I hope you guys check out uh, part one before you guys watch this too. Uh, so I did also cover my EA coverage, but these are just my final thoughts and stuff. So I'm pretty happy that it kind of canceled the court recording and just split the video on its own. But uh, I'm just I'm just not really happy about it. I'm not happy about Gamescom and just going through all these games. I just see I see more indie games than uh, anything else, than all these other exclusives and all this other stuff and and. All this stuff when people just talk about the Tomb Raider stuff and every, everything like where was all this when MGS4 was just like for the PlayStation. Uh, it was originally for the PlayStation uh, 3 and then they came out with MGS5, well Metal Gear Solid, the little, the new Metal Gear Solid and that was a multi-platform game for Xbox One and uh, PS4 and then going back in time. Uh, Resident Evil 4 was originally for the exclusive to the GameCube and then eventually later on I think maybe a year or so or however long it was Resident Evil 4 became available for uh, the Xbox and the PlayStation 3 so uh, I didn't see anybody else mention that like those were some of the games and just some of the examples that that's why I don't really care about Tomb Raider being exclusive or not so I don't really plan on playing it I mean if you guys if it is really exclusive and all you Tomb Raider fans want to play it, you guys are going to have to get an Xbox One. But um, that's just that. But And then another thing, Sonic is now an exclusive Nintendo character. So And then it's just crazy. So times change and everything. So I don't know. Is it going to be really exclusive? And just the possibility of it coming to other consoles, I think it's going to probably eventually be on... It'll probably debut on Tomb, uh, the Rise of Tomb Raider may debut on the Xbox One. And then just maybe after a little bit. A little while after that it'll come out for other uh, consoles and all that stuff but uh, just overall my final thoughts on it against con I don't really I'm not really too impressed and it was just like just that May feeling like yeah like some of these other games like destiny destiny that they show Far Cry 4 um, the order and all that other stuff and um, we already knew those games are coming, so I just feel like they just threw those other games out there just as fillers and just to, you know, give more details about them. Like Battlefield Hardline also, uh, they gave more details for those games just to, just to show off the gameplay and maybe a new game trailer here and there, but that was it. And I just pretty much mostly saw indie games. That's all I saw, and uh, I don't know. I'm just not ready for next generation, uh, as I was saying. Um, I don't know if that went through in my uh, my other video, but in this video, I'm just gonna grab my other stuff, my little old equipment, all my other games and stuff, and everything like that. Let me see, just uh, grab a couple controls here in this brand of video. Like, I'm not even ready for next generation. Like, um, there's barely any games, and that really convinced me to want to officially make my move to next generation, uh, you know, next gen gaming. So that's why. Some of you guys that just subscribed, thank you, by the way, but if you notice on my channel, I'm not playing too many new games, and uh, most of these other games here and there, I'm going back and playing retro games and stuff, like, I'd rather just play around, sit around, like, I'm playing Super Mario Sunshine right now, uh, on my, uh, I'm doing a playthrough of that, I think I'm 10 parts in, but I'd rather just sit around and just play retro games, and just all these other games that were great in the past and everything like that. I don't really, I'm not really interested in all these other next generation of games because going through all these games, again, they're just not all that. So, I'd rather just play retro games and all this other stuff, so that's why I'm not playing all the newest games that's coming out. There's barely anything out and barely think anything that's going on. Like, I'm not going to buy like a next generation system just to play one or two, three, one or two to maybe three or four games and I, I don't want to be stuck with that and then just live in regret and just be like oh I spent all this money for the four hundred to five hundred dollars on this system just to play just to play one um, killer app of a game like uh, I'm not gonna do that like little bit Planet 3 is coming out uh, this year um hmm Uncharted 4 is definitely not coming out this year 
a uh, little bit planet three is coming out i don't know any others that's coming out that's going to be like a you know a big hit um that hellblade game that didn't have a release date and some of those other games that they show pt i heard that wasn't even really all that good that's a free to play game on a playstation store but just that's just how i honestly feel and that's why i'm playing the games i'm playing on my channel i'm playing all these retro games that were good back where game back when gaming was good and all this competition was really neck and neck and stuff but i'm not really feeling the next generation super smash bros is coming out that's just one game to play on the wii u but i like their selection of games that they showed at this year's e3 that makes me want to get my hands on a wii u honestly and um uh, and then on the xbox one half you got titanfall you got killer instinct um Rise on their own, which sucks, I heard, but it's graphically good. But who cares about graphics? I don't care about the graphics of it, but the game is not really good at all. So people just call Rise of Sun and Roll uh, a waste of money. But um, I know this is just way off topic, but that's just how I really feel. And that's what I really got out of Gamescom. So I just really am not ready for next generation. I would just rather just wait and just make my decision of what I want to get. Uh, first and just go from there and when it comes to these, again with the next generation of games I'm not ready for it so that's just how I feel and I don't care about Gamescom and all that stuff so I feel like I kind of wasted my time just covering it and just having some high expectations for these conferences and stuff and I didn't feel like either of them just really delivered and just like blew everyone away people had a couple highlights here and there a couple games and it was just nothing but any games but it must be some kind of big hit with these indie games because they're pouring a lot of money into these games. They must be ridiculously fun to play, but I'd rather not just play. I'm not going to play. Like, if I had an Xbox One right here, right now, I'm not going to just be having my Xbox on right now, boot it up, or I'm going to play an indie game, and I'm not going to have anything else to play. I'm not going to be stuck with one or two to three games to play. I'm not going to try to do that, and I don't like that. And um, I don't want to limit myself to that uh, point where I'm stuck with two to three games for like several months. Uh, and within that time, I'm going to be done with all maybe one or two of those games and just be stuck with one game. And then I'll be forced to just play Call of Duty Ghosts all day waiting for the Advanced Warfare to come out in, later on this year. I don't want to do that. And that's how I really feel about when it's this next generation of gaming. And... Uh, like, I go to play on my PlayStation 3 when I'm recording sometimes. Like, I just finished Watch Dogs. On, I'm trying to wrap that playthrough up uh, along with uh, Super Mario Sunshine that I'm playing that I just started. Um, I'm going on my PlayStation app on my phone. No one's playing anything interesting. People are playing the same one to one to two to three games in a typical PlayStation 4 games. Uh, people are done with Infamous Second Son. No one's playing Killzone Shadowfall because no one's really interested in that game. Some people say the campaign is confusing. Um, I never really touched uh, a Killzone game until Killzone 2 back on the PlayStation 3, but I only played the single-player campaign, and that was it. I didn't even bother touching the multiplayer because uh, I wasn't really all that interested in it, and it didn't really, you know, grasp me and just want, made me want to play, keep playing the multiplayer, and that's how I really feel about this year's next generation. It's slow. There's nothing going on, and... Um, I don't think you guys can really blame me of how I'm really feeling right now about these next generation of games and all the hype they receive. They're having problems and there's just not really turned out to be all that good. No one's really playing anything interesting. Some are playing NBA 2K14, FIFA 14, and maybe some Call of Duty Ghosts here and there, Outlast, and all this other stuff. These other games, they're not playing anything new. Everyone's playing the same old thing. And that's what really just inspired me to really just keep playing retro games and some of the greatest games. And uh, also, not to mention, I started that poll. I did a video way before Gamescom just having you guys vote for a game to, uh, to play. And I'm going to go ahead and grab it, but let me make sure the camera's still recording. I'm nine minutes in, so I got plenty of time. But, um,. Uh, most people voted for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and this is one of the greatest games I ever played. So this one's actually in the lead for the vote, for the voting poll, and I'm actually going to um, put the poll, the link to the poll for some of you guys that are new and that just subscribed and everything that are interested. You guys can either vote for this game, Resident Evil 4, which was also another choice in the poll, or in Sonic Adventure, which I know that Sonic Adventure, uh, the first Sonic original Sonic Adventure game and Resident Evil 4 are tied up in votes for second place, but this is leading right now. So games like this, it just makes me want to just play these kind of games because next generation of gaming is slow, in my opinion, and that's how I really feel. So that's why I just rather just play all these other games and uh
Boy, here goes one another game I really expected, and I thought some rumors. I've been hearing rumors about this. Um, a brand new Crash Bandicoot was supposed to be scheduled for. Uh, is supposed to be rumored for coming to the PlayStation 4. That's something I want to play. This is one of my favorite games that I ever played from my original childhood. And honestly, my favorite PlayStation character from the play on Sony side of the PlayStation uh, series of gaming. So, I don't know. I, I was expecting to see that. Some people wanted to see Jack and Dash Dirt 4. But those people, and also Fallout 4, those were just a lot of games people had, like, expectations for. Like, they thought they were really going to see some bombshells. And people thought that. And that's why I think most people didn't really pay too much attention to Gamescom 2014 this year. They watched it a little bit and wasn't really impressed. So they decided to just skip it and just try to find out what was the highlights of it. And that was it. And they just left it. Left it hanging. So that was just how I really feel. So I just feel like I'm not convinced of this next generation of gaming. And uh, I'd rather just play, stay on my PlayStation 3 and just keep playing what I want to play. Keep my PlayStation 2. I can keep playing my Nintendo GameCube. I can still play my Sega Genesis I still have. And I can still play my Nintendo 64. Um, I can play games on my 3DS, my Nintendo 3DS or stuff like that. And uh, maybe I can play a couple games off of any later. And that's how I really feel. So... I just rather not move on to the next generation of gaming because after what I saw this year, E3 combined with Gamescom 2014, I am not convinced. So I rather just wait, and I'm and I'm gonna say this: I'm sure as hell glad that I waited for just not moving on to buying one of those expensive ass consoles, and that's how I really feel. So that's pretty much it of how I feel, and uh, I'm just not really feeling it. So. That's just all my true honest feelings. My final thoughts for Gamescom. So I don't know how you guys feel about it. Uh, what games are you guys interested in seeing this year? Is next generation of gaming really, um, you know, are they really ready for next generation of gaming? Because I feel like I should, I think that they should have came out with these next generation of game, next generation systems like a little bit later. They should have probably waited another year or so for these types of games because they're just not all that and they're just not much very little to play so that's it so uh sorry about that little cancel of the recording so i hope you guys check this out um uh, this video out and uh this week i'll be trying to finish i finished watch dogs already and i'll still be playing super mario sunshine but uh, when it comes to super mario sunshine i feel like i'm gonna put it on hold but i'm still gonna record the videos and upload them in private but i want to get the rest of those uh 20 19 or 20 videos left of Watch Dogs because I just finished the game because that game was extremely long. So once that's over and done with, I'll be moving on to, uh, if they're, if the Volk surpasses game, I'll be moving on to GTA San Andreas and hopefully try to avoid for avoid those music copyrights that come on, the, uh, you know, those music copyright strikes that come on the radio station. So I'll see y'all later. <laughs>